Good morning. Jay Nicholson, Chris Dodders with the Cat is Fly. You know, uh, we fish egg patterns. We tie them. And we love them. And they catch fish. This is the real deal. Uh, tied on a 20, TMC 2457. This fly is just plain effective as an egg pattern. I like to start off with a little bit of chartreuse at the rear of the hook. Not too much, not too little. Now some of this is going to be covered up. These are quitty, uh, quitty quick, pretty quick flies to tie. This is a uh, frizzle's chenille. A uh, UV orange. UV hot orange. Killer stuff. Right. It is, and it, it's, it's got sheen, and it's, it's got a translucent. Now, in the Great Lakes, folks refer to these as crystal eggs. Beadhead lifter. Beadhead lifter. Is another lifter. That's right. style. Now, again, th these are, this has a, a plummeting tungsten bead, not a sinking bead, not a fast sinker, but a pl these actually plummet. They, there's a difference between sinking fast and plummeting. Mm -hmm. And Chris knows this. I'm going to put an egg veil on here. Uh, this is uh, hairline egg yarn. It's, uh, you can just tie a chunk on, on top. That works. I like to spread this veil around the hook, so I'll Try to get it, I, I just do that to get it moist so it'll stick together. I fold it around my thread and then I do my darndest to wind that around the hook and I almost got it. Yeah, there we go. So that goes all the way around the hook. Then you jam a bunch of wines in there and I happen to be using a white Lagerton thread here I would normally use a fluorescent orange but I forgot to bring that bobbin with me egg veil is a nice touch now I'll take that egg veil and I'll trim it at an angle This is a this is a pretty good size fly. This is tied on a size six. Um, it will show up really well in the water. It'll show up in murky water. And the steelhead really liked to munch on that guy. <laughs> 